How's it going everyone? Brodo Sam is here. So Fake Package Maker GUI app has been released yesterday by developer Codemaster, uh, which is a combination of all the PS4 Fake Package tools. Uh, this app will help you uh, dump games from your PS4 to your PC through FTP, so uh, you don't have to uh, dump games to your uh, USB stick anymore, and will also help you create fake packages from your uh, disk games so you can turn uh, disk games into fake packages and will also help you uh, create DLC unlockers so you can unlock uh, DLCs on your games. But uh, to use this tool there are a few things that you should install on your Windows machine and uh, we're gonna mention and talk about those uh, at the end of the video. So uh, before we get started uh, I should mention that the version that worked for me was 1.05 I tried to use the uh, newest and latest version 1.10, but it did not work for me. I couldn't dump games with it. I had an issue with CMD. Uh, so this new uh, build has the ability to dump the base game alone, uh, the patch alone, the DLC alone, and the keystone alone. But the older uh, build will only dump the entire game altogether. So unfortunately, I can't use this uh, new build. So. Let's just stick to the old one. So first of all, we have to go to the PS4 and run the game that we want to dump. So run that game. Okay. Now you have to click on the PS button to keep the game running in the background. Then go to the PS4 settings. Go to Gold Hand. And enable FTP server. Okay. Now we're done with the PS4, let's go to the app. Alright, simply double click on it. Now type the PS4's IP address here, okay, click on add IP and hit dump game. Now you should see uh, this CMD window and uh, the game size will appear here and uh, dumping will start. So. Uh, the dumped game will appear here in a separate folder, okay? Now this is gonna take a while, so I need to uh, speed things up. Alright, so uh, the base game and the patch has been both dumped to PC. As you can see here, this is the base game, which is 3 gigabyte, And this is the patch, okay? So they're both dumped to PC. Now we have to create a GP4 by clicking on the open game path. And then we select the dumped base game, which is the app, the one that ends with app. Hit OK. And click on build game GP4. OK, the GP4 has been created. Now click on open game GP4 and select it and hit open. Now click on build game uh, fake package. Uh, this one will take a bit longer and uh, as you can see here, it's telling you that the app will look like it's frozen or not responding. Just don't click again so it doesn't crash, okay? Give it some time. And uh, the package is gonna be created uh, inside the folder of the dumped game. All right, so it's done making a fake package for the base game. It tells you here where to find it, which is inside the uh, folder of the dumped game. Now we need to create a fake package for the patch by going to uh, open game fake package and selecting the fake package that we just created. It's inside this folder, okay? Select it and then click open. Now we have to click on the open patch path and select the uh, dumped patch. Okay, this is the dumped patch. Select it and click OK and hit build patch GP4. Okay, next we need to click on open patch GP4 and then select the GP4 which is in the uh, folder of the app. Okay, it's here. Click open and click on a uh, build patch fake package. So now we're done. Uh, we created a fake package for the base game. 
and now uh, we're creating a fake package for the uh, updates and after this uh, we'll see how to create a, a dlc unlocker fake package to unlock dlcs uh, on games so as you can see it's done creating a, a fake package for the update uh, as you can see here the patch fake package can be found uh, inside the uh, uh, folder of the uh, the dumped patch so uh, we're done creating a, a base game fake package and uh, an update fake package i'm just gonna copy and paste them here so you can clearly see them here they are uh, i can just now send them uh, or install them uh, to the ps4 so uh, this is how to use a uh, fake package uh, maker gui to uh, dump games and then turn them into fake packages feel free to use this uh, with your retail digital games uh, or your disc games or just your fake packages games uh, it's gonna work now let's take a look on how to create a dlc unlocker fake packages to unlock dlcs on games to do that, uh, simply click on DLC Unlocker, okay? And now uh, we're gonna try with this uh, example link first, then uh, I'm gonna try with uh, other DLCs. But first, let's try the example link, okay? Which will take us to the PlayStation Store. Copy it. Go back to the app and paste it here. Now simply click on Build DLC Unlocker and uh, give it some time, uh, it shouldn't take long. Okay, it's done. Now the uh, DLC Unlocker can be found inside the uh, fake DLC package. Okay, it can be found in here. Okay, so as you can see, it has been created. Now you can install this uh, on your PS4 to unlock the DLC. Of course, you need to first have the uh, uh, update that this DLC came out on. For example, if a DLC came out uh, on a game update 1.5, uh, you need to get the update 1.5 and then install the DLC unlocker because of course the content of the DLC is not gonna be on the, on the old game that you have. So you have to update the game and then uh, install the DLC unlocker. So that's how you uh, create uh, a DLC unlocker. First of all, you go to the uh, PlayStation Store page of the DLC and you copy the link, okay? Make sure it's the DLC uh, store page. Then you paste the link here and hit uh, build DLC unlocker. Give it some time. And uh, don't click again on the app or it crashes. And when it finishes, the DLC unlocker can be found uh, inside the uh, fake DLC package. All right, as you can see, it's in here, 15400. This is a new DLC unlocker that I just created. And now we're gonna go and create another DLC unlocker, okay? We're going to try this uh, Vampire Hunters DLC, copy the link. Okay, go back to the app, remove the previous link, paste the new link and hit build DLC unlocker. Now notice here that there is a temporary folder. Now, if a DLC uh, unlocker fails to uh, be created, and this temporary folder is still there next time you start the application, make sure that you delete it, okay? You have to delete this temporary folder or uh, the new DLC unlocker that you're trying to create will not be created. So this folder, if it's working correctly, it should appear and then disappear automatically, okay? Like it's gonna do now. See, it's gone. So that means that the DLC unlocker has been created successfully okay 03293 let's check it out here it is it's the newest created dlc unlocker okay so that's how you create the uh, dlc unlocker fake packages pretty straightforward just copy a link and then 
paste it and then hit one button now we come to the uh, final part which is the requirements for this app to work uh, first of all you need to uh, enable windows subsystem for linux so uh, go to turn windows features on or off and then turn on the uh, wsl hit ok and restart the computer and after that uh, go to microsoft store and install ubuntu 20.04 next you need to uh, open ubuntu and then uh, copy those lines of commands that you find uh, in the github page of the app and paste them uh, in ubuntu then hit enter uh, so do this one by one don't copy all of them together and then paste them and hit enter so you have to do each uh, one of them individually the fake package maker GUI uh, offers uh, the option in the app to uh, install all of those things but uh, I couldn't do it because I had too many uh, errors so I had to do it this way but when you're done with this step you have to install Python 3 and Python 3 uh, dependencies those dependencies actually uh, gets installed from the app so I had no issues with those uh, the Python dependencies they work they get installed but uh, I couldn't install the uh, WSL dependencies from the app so you can feel free and try to install them from there but if it doesn't work for you try to do it this way like I did it and if you're completely new to this and you don't know how to install any of this uh, just look it up there are so many tutorials about this uh, it's really not that hard to install uh, all of them so that's it that's the end of the video uh, i hope this was helpful to you take care see you soon